beautiful. That's all I can say, it's beautiful. Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome back to another reaction video and today we have our very first look at the new limited edition Rapunzel coming out for Tangle's 10th anniversary. It's been 10 years, oh my god, I feel so old. Okay, so first up, I have to give some credits to the uh, people who actually provided these photos. So, it's actually uh, Ariel.Boobo and Moon Crystals on Instagram that I uh, saw these photos from. So thank you for providing the photos of the doll. Let me know in the comments below if there are other um, sources involved as well so I can give them proper credit as well. So, backstory. Um, we all know that the uh, Rapunzel doll is rumored, but today they actually made their first appearance at Shanghai Disneyland where they are actually on the shelves and available to purchase. So if you're from there and can actually visit Shanghai Disneyland, you can go there and grab your doll already. But for the rest of the world, I think we are waiting for an official announcement from the Disney store and the actual release date. Alright, so I'm so excited, so let's get into uh, the details. So first up, we have the actual full photo of the doll. As you can see here, the box is pretty similar to what we've been uh, getting from the past. And let's take a look at the packaging first. I like the color, and I also like how the flowers are intertwined at the bottom. It says Disney Rapunzel. I like that. And there seems to be a little sticker in Chinese as well, probably for the Asian market and probably has the Rapunzel name in Chinese probably or the, the word limited edition in Chinese. So here she is in her box. So first up, I really, really, really love her new face sculpt and I actually really love the braided hair as well. And I love the fact that it doesn't just stop at her feet. You can see it can have some dragging action behind her because the hair is actually coiled beneath the box as well so I think it's longer than the actual height of the doll which is very exciting and she also has a little sticker here that says Tangled 10th um, 10 years anniversary with Rapunzel and we can also see that she is carrying Pascal so it's really cool I love it when the limited edition doll comes with either their animal friends or an accessory or something like that so this is Pretty awesome. And in the background, we can see that it's the lantern scene. So looking at her outfit, she seems to be rocking a sleeveless look with these pink puffy sleeves here and a white kind of uh, bodice here with gold and some ribbon details from her original outfit. And the dress, the rest of the dress is pretty interesting because we have this overall panel here with the dark purple and all these patterns with the uh, the sun emblem and all the little flowers and she does have an overskirt with these kind of I don't know how to call it draped paneled pleated little pieces here with um, foil gold printing probably and more foil gold printing on uh, the other parts of the dress one interesting thing she seems to be also rocking a cape that's pretty interesting but I actually don't mind because I, I like capes so that's pretty cool. I like that the ribbons don't actually stop here and they seem to be falling on this side as well. So I'm really digging that as well. And let's go to her hair. So her hair is uh, braided to the side here. Very beautiful and have all these little flowers here. I love that they're a mixture of sizes and colors. Big ones, small ones and all these different little things happening. We can also see that she does have like a tiny other braid woven into this whole big piece as well. So after that, let's go into her face. Oh my God, I, <laughs> I'm i so in love with her face. I have the original limited edition Rapunzel and as much as I love her, the face didn't really capture Rapunzel from the movie, but this one does. I like the fact that she actually has a jawline that uh, matches her character in the movie. The original doll's face was kind of very round-ish and I like the lashes as well, not too crazy. And I love the expression. She is kind of hopeful, shy, looking up at Flynn like is this love kind of emotions going through. I love the green eyes, the freckles. I even like the uh, the detail of the painted brows, the strokes here. I don't like it when they just do a solid color brow. So it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, next up we have a close-up look at the braid and the flowers. I cannot see the tiny little braid that we saw earlier, so maybe that tiny braid is maybe just on the bottom, probably. But yeah, it's I, I love it. 
And next up, we have a closer look at Pascal. He's so cute. But I think he's the same sculpt that they have been doing in the past um, classic dolls. I'm not really sure. I think the size would be bigger, right? So that he can match the 17-inch Rapunzel doll. I think the one that comes with classic doll would be too small for her. <laughs> I love his expression as well. Here is another look at Rapunzel more for more of a straight on view. Again, I love the facial expression, the face sculpt, the paint. I love the little some murky thing that she has going on. And I cannot wait to see her out of the box. I was actually waiting for someone to debox her, but I'm just so excited so I wanted to do this video right away before waiting for debox photos because uh, now that the dolls are actually on the shelves, I think um the official announcement could be following very soon. Uh, according to MM Disney on Instagram, uh, we should expect a announcement or a release date somewhere early December. So fingers crossed. All right, so we have gone through the doll. So I'm gonna say my comments now at this point. So uh, first up, uh, my immediate reaction, like I said, I am completely floored and in love with the hair and the face. But the dress, I was also a bit like, ooh, at, at one point. But we'll get into the details. First up is the color. Of course, these are not official stock images, so the lighting could be a factor as well. But for me, it reads so much more pink than purple. It almost like if you didn't see her face, you couldn't really tell it's actually Rapunzel because of the dress. So that's very interesting and it's a very interesting design as well. They seem to be taking cues from her original design like the ribbon details here. Uh, but aside from that and the patterns, um, a lot is actually a pretty new take on the doll. So they call me obsessed, have put together this little reference on Instagram to so we can get an idea of how the designers pulled uh, for the design. So it looks like it's heavily inspired by the concept artwork where she is sleeveless in all these concept artwork. As you can see, it's very similar. So that's very interesting how Disney store designers explore when they're actually designing a doll. So my take on this is that they're not actually like recreating the dress from the movie. They take cues from it, but at the same time, this is also like a celebratory kind of dress maybe. Rapunzel is celebrating her 10 year anniversary and she's probably coming showing up to the anniversary party in her celebratory gown. That's how I see it, especially with the gold and um, all the extra details that she has. But at the same time, on the dress, I'm not completely sold yet. I will, I will most definitely get her, but I think I still need to get used to the dress and the dress needs to grow on me a little bit, I suppose. But no, no one can really tell. Even with uh, official stock photos, you can actually only make like the full official judgment when you actually see it in person. So I will wait till that, but I'm most definitely getting her. She's, she's beautiful. Although this gold part is a little bit off compared with the rest of the color scheme. Now let's do a little bit of comparisons between the original doll and our new doll. So face-wise, the new doll, the face actually wins. And I actually love the fact that there are no tinsels on the new doll like they had on the original doll. I hate tinsel in doll hair. I just don't know. It makes the hair so messy, so I'm not for tinsel in doll hair. So what do you think about these? Obviously, it's a little bit unfair to compare because they're not exactly the same this is a complete uh take on the dress from the movie while this one is more creatively designed with inspiration from the movie concept art and probably elsewhere as well so comment below which doll you actually prefer the new original one or the new one or you actually love both in their own ways comment your opinions below all right next up we're going to take a look at the faces more um closely so we have the new doll here oh my god i love I, I can't get over the jawline because see she's so like roundish here while well, this one looks more like her jawline and her face shape from the movie so of course this is the new classic doll as well so these new faces are very similar i also like uh, the different emotions they convey um, this classic doll facial expression convey the the quirkiness, the adventureness, the the spirit of Rapunzel, the fun side. While this one kind of also captures the uh, the calmer side, the shy side, the cute side of Rapunzel. So that's pretty awesome. 
Alright, now for the big question. So with the design of the new doll, I can also see some collectors being disappointed. Collectors who actually don't have the original doll and were hoping for a chance to own a Rapunzel limited edition doll in the iconic dress. So I can see them being disappointed because the newer dress is actually not movie accurate or directly inspired by the movie. It's not a recreation. So, if you don't have the original Rapunzel doll, what do you feel about it? Are you actually happy that a new Rapunzel doll, limited edition doll, is available? Or are you disappointed that she is not in her iconic gown? So, I would be very interested to hear your thoughts down below on how you feel about the design. And for my comment, what they did with Ariel is very interesting. Because for Ariel, it's essentially they remade the same look but executed differently. So basically it's her mermaid and bra look, but the new one and the old one, the only difference is that they uh, remade it, but in a different way, in a different design. So do you wish Rapunzel would have gotten the same treatment? Like they have done this dress again, but in a different way? Or are you glad that she is in a new dress? So because I think there are some mixed feelings about the doll between the two sides of the collecting world, so I would very much like to hear your opinions. So with that said, I think that is it for my uh, reaction and the first look at the new limited edition Rapunzel doll. So, so are you in love or are you not in love or are you somewhat in the middle still trying to decide? Sound off your opinions and thoughts in the comments below. For me, I'm pretty clear that I am in the in love section. I love the face and the hair. I think that alone is a reason to get this doll. Although I don't hate the dress, I'm also not in love with the dress. So for the dress, I'm kind of somewhat in the middle. But definitely, I am getting her when she comes out. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you again to MM Disney, uh, They Call Me Obsessed, um, Ariel Boo Boo, and Moon Crystals for the photos and everything. Make sure you go follow them on Instagram. You can also follow me on Instagram at Creates for more doll photos. But right now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye!